In this video, we're going to be setting up the SD's Flying Model Rocket Launch Set. All right, so we found this uh, Flying Rocket Model Launch Set at the thrift store for $2.99. Great deal. So we're going to be getting this thing set up, um, unboxing it, and uh, seeing how uh, high we can fly it. So we've unboxed our rocket. So we've got the uh, you know igniter packs here, and we've got the uh, fins and the base and the control board, and then stickers for the rocket, and then um, just the pins that it'll launch off of. So something that I noticed, and um, I did not know this, um, when I bought this as an open box at the thrift store, um, apparently they're not supposed to come with the engines. So I actually got two sets of engines and um, it did not come with the wadding and it also doesn't come with four AA batteries or glue. So there's an awful lot of stuff you need to get with this rocket besides just the rocket itself. Just fair warning. So we got this a little bit more unboxed and you can see the uh, main fuselage there and uh, the control board and then the parachute comes in. So we've got the rocket partially put together. We've got the uh, fins on there. And uh, you're supposed to use modeling glue, but we didn't have any, so we just used super glue. So it's a little bit rougher on your fingers when you're trying to get that stuff off, but I think it'll still work. So we're just letting this part dry before we go to the next step. So I applied the stickers. Did not do quite as good of a job as the picture, but um, I am an amateur at this, so I have added those there. And we've got the shock cord here on the top. So um, we will go to the next phase of building this rocket. So we've got the uh, chute assembled, the nose cone, and we're supposed to put in recovery wadding, whatever the heck that is. Um, so instead we're gonna use tissue paper. So hopefully that still works. All right, so we've got our rocket mostly put together. We put in the um, igniter part of the base, hopefully that's correct. And got the nose cone in there. We shoved the parachute down the nose cone. So we're gonna go ahead and put together the base now. All right, so we've got our base mostly put together, and all we have to do now is just get the ignition part on there, and we will be ready to launch. So the launch controller takes four AA batteries, which of course it does not come with. With the kit, they give you a basic idea of how the rocket is supposed to work. So we will see if this happens, but um, this is just kind of the flight path you're looking for. You know, uh, peak altitude there, hopefully the parachute deploys. All right, so we're set up in the middle of this field, and we've got our 15 feet away, and we're just gonna test the circuit. It lights up. So we are good to launch. Three, two, one, fire. Ready to go. So we were able to recover all parts of the rocket here. We The fin came off, so I'm gonna have to glue that back on. Other than that, the igniter base and the cone, everything deployed pretty well, I think. So. All right, so we've repositioned the fuse here on the bottom so it's away from the uh, rocket. So hopefully that'll work a little better. It, did, it was harder to glue it back on here the second time, so hopefully everything stays together. Test number three. It, I'm not even using glue on the fins anymore because they just keep coming off. And uh, as long as they stay on for launch, that's really all I care about. The parachute gets wrapped around uh, the uh, safety cord here, but as long as it still deploys, I think we're all right. So after the third time, the chute's kind of a tangled mess, but you definitely want to try to put it back because it just didn't even deploy last time. But we'll keep trying. All right, we're gonna try to hold our fins together with the scotch tape we put on here, so hopefully that holds. Taping on the fins definitely helped. Everything stayed intact and our shoot is still good, so we're gonna keep going. Hi. One. 
So our last couple attempts didn't work um, because I think somehow or other if this fuse isn't um, doesn't go off right, then it ends up being kind of worthless. So um, I think you know the rocket is really made only to go off like three times, and I think that the extra um, the extra engines with it were actually um, extra, and they must have thrown them in with the box because they got them from the thrift store. So good deal, but didn't really need them. Make sure you uh, read all the instructions and follow all the warnings that are in the package. One of the things it says to do is that when the uh, engines are spent, make sure you soak them in water. That way, when you throw them out, you know, there's no risk of them. Uh, you know, All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please uh, click like and subscribe. And uh, also check out the link in the description below to see if there is uh, a link to get a rocket like this. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching.